We're going to begin in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where thousands of people have fled their homes because an out-of-control and fast-growing wildfire is moving in on the community. For many, that is bringing up painful memories from 2016, when a huge wildfire forced the entire city to flee and flattened some neighborhoods. This was the scene yesterday on the way out of Fort McMurray. Hundreds of cars backed up hours after officials issued that evacuation order and again reminiscence of 2016 there are now about 6600 people from the neighborhoods of Abbasand, Beacon Hill, Prairie Creek and Grayling Terrace who have fled the rest of Fort McMurray about 60,000 people they remain under an evacuation alert and ready to leave at a moment's notice fire officials say the blaze is exhibiting extreme fire behavior but officials have also expressed confidence in their ability to defend the community from destruction Sam Sampson is on the ground in Fort McMurray for us and she has the latest information and the reaction from people again forced to flee. This road leads to a neighborhood that's pretty much empty by now because the people who live there are part of the 6,000 people in Fort McMurray who were told to get out on Tuesday. Now, the rest of the city is on an evacuation alert, ready to leave at a moment's notice. The fire is within 10 kilometers of Fort McMurray and it pretty much doubled in size within 24 hours, now around 200 square kilometers. And even though it's raining just a little bit, you can smell that smoke in the air. Officials are warning and asking people who are still in Fort McMurray to stay put if they're not on an evacuation order so that they don't jam up the highways too much. That's more of a staggered evacuation approach compared to 2016, where pretty much the entire city tried to leave all at once. But I can tell you, while we were coming up on the highway to Fort McMurray, there were kilometers and kilometers of back-to-back -back traffic, so many people trying to leave as fast as they can. Now, the hotels in northern Alberta are filling up quite quickly with evacuees. Some are even staying at campsites. I guess kind of mixed emotions. We're doing fine and everything, but uh, you don't want to go through it again. Like, we had to rebuild and everything the last time. It's out of my hands. Don't know if I'm going to have a home or if it's going to spread or... A lot of thoughts running through my head. As we're driving through, it was um, looking at our rear view mirror and seeing that black and red was, it was, I know I made the right decision to leave. The rest of the city, more than 60,000 people, are still on an evacuation alert. They're ready to go at a moment's notice. Feeling so many people here know all too well. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Fort McMurray, Alberta.